Hey guys, it's me, Crystal Lee. I just completed my second shift order. I need to hit my inhaler. So it was a really easy order. Um, you know, I did it pretty quick. I think within 30 minutes I had everything and I was just kind of waiting on her to respond to some questions I had. A $10.82 on the order from shipped and then a $15 tip on top of that. So that's pretty awesome. So that was $25 for an hour and 15 minutes worth of work. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, I was supposed to be working my first overnight shift um, tonight at Subway, but I had to change it. I have been stressing it so bad. I do not know how, I, I, I really truly don't think that I would have been able to stay awake till six o'clock in the morning and then come home, pick up Eric, drive him to work, and then hopefully, if possible, drive myself back to the house so that I could sleep. I was too worried that I wouldn't, physically would not be able to stay awake that long. So um, one of the other girls, that works there only had 21 hours for the week and she was asking for more hours and my manager had forgotten to schedule someone from 5 to 10 she had one someone there till 5 and she had someone there at 10 o'clock which was me but from 5 to 10 she didn't have anybody scheduled so she changed it she put me on the schedule for 5 to 10 and then the other girl is going to come in at 10 o'clock and work the overnight shift and she does that three to four times a week anyway she's used to it she gets to sleep all day so it's not a problem for her so it worked out and you know I felt I felt bad because I wanted to give it a try but I was just really really worried I mean what do you do when you're the only person in a store and you physically cannot keep yourself awake anymore what are you supposed to do the other day I worked 19 hours with a four-hour nap in between I was exhausted I was drained I came home from work and I walked in the door and Eric and his kids and, and our roommate and his kids they were all there and they were asking me how work was going and I couldn't even speak and I laid down and I fell asleep and I slept for 12 hours straight and that was amazing I've got 37 hours on this check coming up and I'm gonna have 41 hours on the next check unless I work any additional time I'm feeling great you know I was exhausted but like I said I got caught up on my sleep 12 hours straight that was awesome I haven't felt down at all like even when I get a little stressed about things I don't instantly you know fall into my depression which brings me to I had a comment on my do's and don'ts of loving someone with depression video they compared me to that uh, ruler in North Korea Kim jong Young or something like that with all my rules I think I replied that they're not rules they're just suggestions for if you're in a relationship with someone who's going through this and he commented back that that he hates depressed people depressed people make the world a bad place and he ended it by saying I hate you and I said okay thank you for your input and he commented back you're not going to contest it and I was like, no, I'm not. If that's the way you feel about it, nothing I could say is going to change your mind. So there's there's no reason for me to argue with you. And that's all he said. Like, I'm sure he was looking to get into some kind of back and forth, drawn out fight argument. And like, I'm sure he was hoping that he was going to cause me to slip into some depression and go do something stupid. But it's not going to happen what I don't know you why would I care if you hate me and you're obviously ignorant of depression and what it is and the fact that I'm trying to help people understand I don't care how you feel about it I mean you're you're entitled to your opinion that's fine but I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you about it I'm not gonna get into a heated debate about it what's the point you're not gonna change my mind and I'm not gonna change yours there's no point in it so that was that <laughs> I lost a few of my succulent plants. I don't know if it's because I overwatered or underwatered. My tomato plant is doing great, though it does look like there's been snails on it, which is weird because I have it inside under like an LED or some kind of white light thing. But it's got like these beige brown colored like trails in some of the leaves. What is that? I've been trying ever since I was a kid to make myself like tomatoes, like sliced tomatoes, because coming from Georgia, my entire family used to tell me that if you don't like to 
tomatoes. You're not a southern girl. You're not from Georgia. Like, they used to take tomatoes off the plant, put salt and pepper on them, eat them just like that, and I just did not like them. Well, I've been trying. I keep trying them, and I keep trying them, and I keep trying them, and I think I'm finally starting to get a taste for tomatoes. It's wonderful. So I'm excited to grow my tomatoes, and then I'm going to find a recipe online to find out how I can make my own stewed tomatoes. It's going to be great because they're really good for you too, right? They're really good for you. I'm just rambling. This video has absolutely no point. I wanted to tell you about my second ship shop. I don't know what that's all about. Okay, I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.